Hey, what's going on everybody? Max here with BB and today for 10 Minutes Max, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, crypto and the upcoming presidential election and what that could potentially mean for prices. Before we get into it, guys, do me a solid and please consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. We are really close to 20,000 on YouTube. Please help us get there. If you watch all the time and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're getting real close and it's all thanks to you guys. So here's Bitcoin right here. And obviously, as you guys know, markets have been uh, very volatile recently, to say the least, right? I can honestly say in, in my you know half a decade of trading crypto and, and being around these, these digital asset markets, I haven't seen a shakeout quite like the one that we've just seen. Um, not that we're here to talk about this, but zooming in on the lower time frames, I mean, this is like a range from hell right here. I mean, this is just awful. From the high to now the low, it's been 33% down with, you know, our first high right here, first low. I mean, kind of you mark these out, right? I mean, so many like fake outs to the, the top side and to the downside, but um, I think we are getting close to a resolution, and I've posted some analysis about where I think we're going to go uh, pretty soon here on, on Twitter, but we are not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about what potentially is going to happen to Bitcoin from now into the presidential election, which is in November, um, and then what we could maybe expect after the election, regardless of actually who's in the office which at this point, it seems like it's going to be Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. So we're going to figure that out. But what we're going to do together first is we're going to mark out all of the U.S. elections um, going back, you know, through the existence of Bitcoin, right? And, you know, we could do this for stocks too, but, you know, we're here to talk about Bitcoin. The channel is called Because Bitcoin or BB. Um, and of course, there's a correlation between stocks and crypto. So take it for what it's worth. Um, they should both more or less do do fine or bad together, right? There's a, there's a correlation. So let's go back um, and we'll start by marking because Bitcoin's only been around since, you know, 2010. Um, we'll mark out the 2012 election. All right. Now we're going to be as precise as we can. We're going to go down to the daily time frame. Okay. So in 2012, the election was held on November 6th. Okay. In 2012. So let's go back to 2012 and we are going to look for November 6th which was right here. All right, so we're going to mark this down. And this is US presidential election. And one more thing that we're going to add here for 2012 is that whether it was a new president that took office or uh, the current president remained in office. So in 2012, uh, we had Barack Obama winning re-election. He beat Mitt Romney, so same president remained in office. So we're going to put that down below. Same president remains in office. Okay? So there we go. November 6th, same president remains in office. Next, um, 2016. We're going to move it on here. 2016. November. Uh, it was November 8th of 2016. All right, so here's November 8th of 2016. And this was the election that Trump beat Clinton. So U.S. presidential election. And we're going to say new president takes office. All right, so this one was slightly different than the first one that we did, where Barack Obama wins, stays in office. This one, Trump beats Clinton um, and new president takes office. Keeping it moving, we're going to go to November 3rd of 2020. All right, so let's see here. November 3rd of 2020. Zoom in a little bit more here just so we can be precise. All right, November 3rd, 2020. All right, so U.S. presidential oops, election. And for this one, we had Joe Biden defeating Donald Trump. So new president takes office president takes office. Okay, great. So we have now all of the, in Bitcoin's existence, we have all of the presidential elections um, marked out in its existence. And then of course, we have our next one coming up uh, very, very soon here. So that's going to be in November. 
Let's keep it moving here. I'm gonna mark this out right here. Um, so that would be what, November 5th? So November 5th would be right here. So US presidential election. All right, November 5th. Now we're gonna go throughout Bitcoin's history here. We're gonna move it back to the weekly now. It might modify the date slightly because we're on the weekly, but it's fine. You'll get the point. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark out Bitcoin's price action leading into the election and then after the election and potentially forecast what is to come. So something that I noticed right away is bear markets for Bitcoin seem to bottom somewhat before the election, right? And then you kind of grind up into it. So let's mark out all the bear market bottoms for Bitcoin. I guess we could call this one. I mean, it's kind of a double bottom there, right? But you get the point. Um, bear market bottom. And then pretty clearly here, FTX low was bear market bottom. Okay. So we're going to mark out some colors here as well. And we'll mark this out from bear market bottom to the election. And we'll put this in, uh, we'll put this in orange. Just kind of like uh, we're not selling, but we're not quite off to the races yet. Let's do the same thing over here. All right. Bear market bottom to the election. Let's go again. Bear market bottom to the election. And how about right now? Bear market bottom, potentially to the election. Right, so what do we notice about all these, these periods of time, right? It's that you put in a bear market bottom well before the election, and you do move up into it, right? You are moving up. There's some big pullbacks, but you're moving up into the election. How about here in uh, 2015, 2016, 2017 cycle? pullbacks but you are moving up into the election all right let's keep it moving same thing even during the the 2019 through 2021 bull market this was really really choppy right but if you took an average of the price action like a mean you would get a line like this right like this would be your i'll even make this bigger and we'll make it we'll make it blue just so you can see it like this is your trajectory right like you are moving up here's your bottom huge rally Overcorrection to the downside, you know, it's like it's chopping, but like this is your average. So you are still moving up into the election. No question about it, right? This was very choppy, but you're moving up into the election. And let's see what we're doing right now. Fair market bottom, moving up into the election, right? Big pullbacks, but still moving up into the election. Now, let's do this. Let's see what happens after each election. All right, so here's price action after the election to the bull market top, and we will mark that out as green. We'll go back to the weekly. Why not? All right, price action after the election all the way to the top. Price action after the election all the way to the top, right? So what do we notice is that you know, basically you put in your bear market bottom, you grind up into the election, and then you have you know an, an aggressive expansion to the upside immediately following. So could the same thing potentially happen this time around? Well, maybe, right? Maybe there's definitely a pattern here, regardless of whether, you know, a new president takes office or the same president remains in office. It's been the same thing. All right. Um, but let's, let's expand this a little bit further, right? Like, let's see how long we've rallied on average after a U.S. presidential election. Let's go even, let's just be super precise. Let's go down to the daily, all right? So from a U.S. presidential election, measuring to the day, it's been to the top, to the Pico top, 387 days. Let's just make sure we have that to the top. Not quite. Actually, the top was, looks like this was the top. Eh, right here. All right, 393 days from the date of the election to the Pico Bitcoin top. No, you could say the top was a couple days before you basically were, but whatever. Just over a year, all right? Now let's measure the next one, right? We'll take out our tool here, and from the date of the election, I'll move that over here, actually. We'll go up top just so we can see it. From the date of the election all the way until the Pico top, it was 404 days, all right? To the date, from the election to the top. So the first cycle, 393 days. Second cycle... 404 days. How about the last one? Let's take a look at it. Take out our measuring tool from the date of the election to the Pico top for Bitcoin was 372 days. 
Okay, so again, just over one year. Perfect. So what would that mean this time around? Well, if the same pattern plays out and we grind up into the election, as you can see here in the yellow, bear market bottom, grind up into the election, then we get 393 to 404 to 372, so just over a year of frothy price action after an election, regard like ignoring everything else, looking at this in the simplest of terms. Like I'm not looking at any macro here, I'm not looking at any interest rate decisions, I'm not looking at like anything. I'm just marking out elections. That's it. That would potentially take Bitcoin's bull market out from the date of the election. Ignore the price. I'm just using it you know, so you can see it, right? From the date of the election, potentially between 300, let's just say 350. And we'll mark this out here. So 350 on the low side. We'll put this in red. To potentially, let's just say the longest was 404, right? So that would take us out right here. I'll mark out this date as well to December. So somewhere out in here, potentially, like this, if we are going to be following the same pattern of grind up into the election, I'll move this above, it'll move the dates a little bit, but you get the point, grind up into the election, expand for about a year afterwards, and then, you know, you have a bear market, and you just kind of rinse and repeat on this election cycle, that would put our next top for Bitcoin somewhere between basically October and I guess December, right in this region of next year. So that would mean that from right now, because we're not at the election yet, we potentially have another 400 days left of, you know, upwards, upwards price expansion, right? Bullish market conditions. And something else I find really interesting about this is let's actually put the Bitcoin halvings over this as well. Look at how the Bitcoin halvings, they're marked at the top of my chart. Um, you can see right here with the thick, thick uh, black line. The first Bitcoin halving actually happened like at the U.S. presidential election. Second one happened just before. Third one happened just before. Would you look at this? The one we just had happened just before. What do we notice about the previous two cycles that between the Bitcoin halvings, which is the thick, really thick uh, vertical black lines right here, is that the price action leading into the presidential election is usually kind of junky. Like that's garbage. Big drop. You know, Bitcoin had actually pulled back from this high 40 percent and then took a while to grind up. It was moving up into the election, but it didn't actually go on into price expansion and, and like price discovery until much later. How about last cycle? Same thing, garbage price action, mostly sideways, fake pump, big drop, grinding up into the election, but didn't actually take off until right after. How about this time around? I would say this is pretty in line with what we've seen historically. Moving up into the election, really, really junky price action uh, between when the Bitcoin halving was and the election. And we'll probably, just like the last two cycles, kind of you know, grind our way up into the election, and then we'll pop. Just like we have the previous two cycles. Same exact thing. Grind our way up, pop. Grinding our way up, it's choppy, pop. We'll probably do the same thing again, right? This is, you know, maybe Satoshi knew something. Maybe it's just coincidence, but Bitcoin halvings and elections are pretty close together. And the last two cycles, the Bitcoin halving has been just before a uh, U.S. presidential election. And it's been pretty junky price action. So potentially the same thing's going to happen again. But guys, do me a solid. Before you go, please consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. Again, we're almost getting close. We're getting really close to 20K. So whatever you can do to help us cross that milestone, that would be awesome. Check out the links in the description below, guys. If you want a more intimate look on how I am approaching markets, if you want to see totally behind the curtain, all of my positions, premium analysis and, and content that we don't post here on YouTube or on X, definitely check out the first link. That's to our Discord, guys. What you could expect is over two hours a day, Monday through Friday of private live voice calls with me and the entire BB team. And again, we share everything. So if you want a more intimate approach, behind the curtain, see everything and open a 24-7 line of communication with me and the BB team, the Discord is for you. Additionally, as a bonus, within the next two weeks, you're going to get free access included in your existing Discord membership to our new flagship product called the BB Terminal, guys. It's an awesome product. It's got everything that you could ever need or want. 
to succeed in these markets all compiled into one super website. It's got portfolio tracking, derivatives data, heat maps, high time frame DCA indicators, literally everything that you could ever need or want, guys. That's going to be free, included in your existing Discord membership. So sign up sooner rather than later. And definitely last but not least, check out the second link, which is to the BB Academy, guys. If you want to speed run your educational journey towards understanding these markets from a technical and fundamental perspective, guys, the BB Academy is for you. We have everything that we have used as a team, as individuals, and as a team neatly compiled into one masterclass, guys. It'll teach you everything that you need to know. A lot of people out there teaching TA, some for free, some paid, but guys, the BB Academy can save you a lot of time, and we just speed run everything that you need to know, right? Neat and tidy. Everybody seems to like it. I don't say this shyly. I think it's one of the best trading courses out there. We put a lot of time and effort into it, and it was a team effort right? So support BB, support your trading journey. Check out the first link and the second link in the description below. Join us somewhere, guys. It's awesome. But anyways, thanks so much for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Take care.